guys, welcome back to another episode of Growing Pains, how to run a profitable, a profitable window film business. Today's episode is sponsored by South Pizzeria, home of the grandma's slice. Make sure you get, get a slice. slice. Get a slice now. <laughs> get your slice. Um, get your slice Go check it out. Um, so today we're going to talk about the CEO lifestyle and in particular Matt's lifestyle. So he's going to talk about what he does personally and as a business owner um, to see how he runs his life. Matt, go ahead. So yeah, I had this thought about like CEOs and running a company and obviously, you know, everyone says reinvest in your business, reinvest in your business, which is, you know, primarily one of the things that will grow your business is reinvesting your business. And so you, you know, dig or deeper into that and you, you have to look at your personal lifestyle and see, you know, what, you know, what are you willing to sacrifice for your business? And to the extent of, you know, how much you're willing to sacrifice for your business to reinvest in your business on a personal level, a lot of times will determine, you know, how much you can grow your business or how fast you can grow your business. I always, you know, I've taken, you know, home equity lines out, put them to, just to take money, borrow, put back in my business. I mean, you know, profits, putting back in my business. Like that's been the biggest thing for me. You know, when I buy a company, I make more money and then take that money and reinvest it. And so, so I mean, hands down, like, for sure, putting money back in your business is one of the keys to growing your business, um, feeding your business. If you are an owner and you're making, you know, $50,000 or $100,000, whatever it is, and you're taking all that money and spending it, then, you know, you're only going to do so much. You can't put that towards marketing, can't put that towards hiring more people. And so it goes back to your lifestyle is how lean, we'll call it, are you willing to live? right? Are, is your car payment $1,000 a month, right? Because if it's $1,000 a month, it can be, can it be 500 bucks a month? And if it's 500 bucks a month, then you have an extra 500 bucks a month to put it back in your business. And so, you know, I've always, you know, I, you know, obviously as you're scaling your business, you have to determine what you want your lifestyle to be like, and then figure out, you know, where to stop, right? So I had my business, you know, for 10 years, you know, I lived pretty lean, you know, from 25 to 35, just, you know, with the automotive shop, didn't, you know, didn't have much, then started 35 scaling solar art, putting reinvesting, 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 took a little bit more, took a little bit more, you know, but I wasn't greedy. I took a little bit more, a little bit more, but the little bit more that I could have took could have been less, right? I could have bought right. a smaller house, I could drive a less expensive car and that's money that could go back into my business. So I'm less successful because of the things, the nice things you call them that I want. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and so, yeah, I mean, there's people out there that, you know, like right now, you know, could I drive a Ferrari? Does, can my business afford a Ferrari? Fuck yeah. I could afford a Ferrari, but like, that's stupid, right? Because what, you know, I don't need a Ferrari right now. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe someday, right? I will. So you find out where you're, I think, um, Gary V said this, I think it's about you, where's your baseline, right? You find out your baseline. So I hit my baseline a while ago where I had my house, right? I had the, my mortgage, whatever. I had the, uh, you know, a, a car that I thought was, you know, acceptable for me. I didn't need to go here. It was, it was this car. It wasn't this car. It wasn't here. It was like here. Right. And so I got to that point and now I'm at that point where, okay, I'm good. And now it's all about going in, right? For your business. So everything right. above goes back in the business, reinvesting, right? And so you don't scale your lifestyle with your business. If you scale your lifestyle with your business, then it makes no sense because you're just taking from your business. So once you reach your level of happiness where you feel, con and it's different for everybody. Some people want more, some people want less. It just right. all depends on what makes you happy, right? Um, but I will tell you that, if I drove a less expensive car, if I lived in a smaller house, I would use all that to put it back in my business. And I probably would, you know, have a bigger and better business, but at the, at the detriment of, you know, a smaller house, you know, you got, you have, you, know, you got your kids, you got your wife, you got, you have other factors that play into the things that you want and the things that you need. Um, but I will say that, you know, the, you know, the, the leaner you can live, the better your business will be. And so um, that's been a huge kind of 
factor for me growing the business is reinvesting in your business, but it all comes back to your lifestyle <laughs> and how you want to live. And so, um, so that's what I would say is, yeah, for sure. Like money goes back in the business, like the leanest you could live that you're happy with, then, you know, um, I would say, you know, do it. I love it. My favorite quote from that is feed your business. I think that goes miles. Just like Matt said, just live within your means, feed your business. If you feed your business, it's going to grow, right? That's probably the quickest, easiest way to make sure you're growing at the level that you want to grow at. It's kind of in your, in your control, right? If you are living outside your means, you are preventing your business to grow at the speed and rate that you could let it grow at. So anyway, let us know in the comments below what you think about that. Right. Tell us about your lifestyle as a CEO and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Cool. Thanks. Thanks, Johnny.